And now for something completely different. I have the worst knockoff cereal in the world. What, what are you eating? I can't see what that is, but it looks awful. Great, great value. value. Chocolate. Chocolate mint cereal. Disgusting. It is horrible. <laughs> And I'm almost finished the first box. <laughs> if it's so bad, why are you still eating it? Because <laughs> it's here, man. <laughs> it lo- <sighs> it looks like it should be a like a Applejack or it something. It does. I, well, I but mean, it's, but it looks like burnt toast, <laughs> and it tastes like nothing ever invented. <laughs> well. Parky. We'll, we'll move on to good things in life. Today, you told me we've got some Jethro Tull. Hello, fellow humans. Well, hello there. Yeah, You said Aqualung, and for some reason, I immediately thought we were going to do Nirvana. Ah, no. No. That's the kind of thing a Gen X or, mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. Uh, or a Gen Yer would say, I guess. What am I? I'm a millennial, I think, technically. Or a millennial. You, yeah, yeah, I think if you look at the, the breakdown of generations, I think that's what I am. Okay, but I'm we the still older. don't really know what you are. You have not been identified by science. Mm-hmm. I told you, bottom half of me, fish. True story. Yeah. 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 And who's going to deny it? <laughs> I'm a merman. Prove I'm not. <laughs> <That's right. sighs> yes, we're going to do a song called Aqualung. Um, this is an interesting song, Dave, and I can't wait to hear your take on the lyrics. This is the song that got me into Jethro Tull. Okay. This is the song that when I had... The best sounding eight track boombox <laughs> known to mankind. <laughs> it took eight D cell batteries. The thing weighed about 17 pounds. And <clears throat> you uh, on the school bus, I, I went to a tech school, so our bus ride to school was over 35 minutes. It would literally use eight D cell batteries in that 35 minute drive. I'm trying to remember the last time I even saw a D cell battery. Like, yeah, I don't see them used anymore. I don't own anything that takes well, them. Well, why should they be used? They weigh a pound and a half a piece. They're expensive. <laughs> and the, the things that need D-cell batteries run them through, you know? Yeah. And this boombox ran right through those batteries, man. And But let me tell you what. I got some mad respect on the bus for having the best out of boombox. <laughs> and this song here and this album, that's one of the albums. That one and Yes Songs. And Bad Company and Led Zeppelin. I mean, people thought I was the next best thing. And then we moved to today when here you are. It's, it really is all downhill from high school, isn't it, John? <laughs> all right, Jeff Rutzel, here we go. Hmm. Uh, mm. Crank it up, Dave. Spicy. Sitting on the park. Volume up. I think I figured it out. Screaming. 
That was fun. <laughs> tasty, isn't it? Man, That's a tasty I, one. I like when they do that, when he does the whole, like, guitar follows the singing thing. Oh, okay. That's the, uh, the, the, the guitar lead does the melody line along with the singing. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was a really neat way to do a song, to make a music. <laughs> <laughs> to make a music <laughs> To make thing. it a music. Uh, yeah, that was, that was good. Um, I think my only... I'll, I have a lot of good to say about this song. So I'll start with the bad since there's so little of that. Um, okay. And really, it's just uh, I kept waiting for my flute solo. Where was my flute solo, John? <laughs> 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 I'm, kind of, I'm just disappointed I didn't get my Jethro Tull flute solo. Um, but outside of that, yeah, outside of that, which is such a, you know, it's a dumb nitpick. Um, I really had a lot of fun with that. I, I think it's pretty obvious what the lyrics are about. Did did you figure it out, John? <laughs> That's one I've known. Okay. Sorry. Oh, you already did that one. Good. Um, then here is my opinion on it. Um, I it's about a homeless dude. Uh, a, a number of those references I did actually know, like um, a dog's tail or whatever. That's a cigarette butt. He's picking up little cigarette butts and trying to smoke the little last bit of it. Okay, well, I didn't know what that. That's what that. Yeah, meant. that's. I, I thought it was the end of a hot dog somebody left around. No, but, uh, okay. no, he's trying to smoke the little uh, cigarette butt ends that he's finding in the street. Oh, okay. Um, gotcha. So, like some of those things, I I think were real giveaways. I like the Salvation Army touch. That was a, a fun way to say he's going up to the Salvation Army to get himself some hot tea, you know, and a little yeah. bite to eat. Sal- salvation and a cup of tea. Yeah, so a Salvation <laughs> uh, Alamode. The army's the army's up the street. Salvation Alamo. That's a really fun way to say he's going to the Salvation Army. Um, yeah, but yeah, very clearly, I if I had to take a guess, and I have no idea, I would almost say this is based on someone he actually saw. I mean, Aqualung as a term is clearly uh, the reference to the hacking cough, that wet hacking cough right. that you'll hear from someone who's just been on the street that long. Yeah. Um, which is very sad. It's that's not good. No one should be forced to live like that. But I almost wouldn't be surprised if the writer of this song, I don't know if that's Jethro Tull or someone else in the band or um, someone else there entirely. Is, there is no Jethro Tull, Dave. Yeah, Mr. Jethro Tull. There's, he plays the flout. No... He's a flautist, John. <laughs> Ian, Ian Anderson is the flautist <laughs> and the key songwriter for the band. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he saw this the person this song's based on, you know, if this is uh, a real interaction he had and then wrote this song about it. Um, but, but yeah, I, it's weird because I really, really liked the music. It was a fun song. I, I like how it was put together. I like how it was sang. I like how it was orchestrated. And yet the content made me sad, you know, mm. cause this, the song is about just, a person who, yeah, they've spit out all their luck. They've coughed it all up. It's gone. They're as down on their luck as, as one human can be. Yeah. Um, what little they get is completely reliant on others. And 
I mean, as in reality, what what little all of us have are completely reliant on others. That is just how you know humanity works. That's how a community works. Um, but we're not as down in our luck as that man is in the song. And so, you know, it's it's just sad to think about that that we as such a prosperous society still allow that to happen. And I mean, this song came out in what, the 70s or something? 70s, 80s? Yeah, yeah, early 70s. And yeah. yet with all of our opulent wealth, we uh, nothing's changed. I still see homeless people uh, r- quite regularly. Well, we've we've broached this subject many a time, mm-hmm. I think, over the uh, over the videos. We have how many videos do we have? Two hundred. No something? idea. We have a lot of videos. Uh, we've broached the subject before, and um, and and I've certainly worked in a downtown section where there are ample homeless people, and uh, some of them, though given many many opportunities to improve their way of life choose to stay there that's where they're comfortable and i say this i support a mission in an inner city and i'm very familiar with it it's sad tis sad yeah but that being said still a fun song i mean (laughs) it's great yeah i i think it's so well written and i i do and it seems almost slightly familiar like maybe i've heard a little piece of that song in a movie or something you know um somewhere but certainly never heard the whole song but yeah the the whole guitar following along with the lead singer i really liked that that was just such a fun little way to do that so yeah yeah turns out jethro toll super fun um need more flute 71 i was trying to get the year That's the 